guys and happy December and welcome to day one of the fossil advent calendar. So this is a project that I've been wanting to do for a few months now and I'm so happy we're finally here. So I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. And now for day one, I think you guys can guess what it's going to be on. We're going to do it on ammonite. So every day for this calendar is going to be on a different type of fossil. So I hope you guys are excited to learn a bit more about them all. But I realise that I find ammonites all the time, but I haven't actually told you guys much about them. So I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a lesson on what were ammonites. So I've got this wonderful little model here to show you guys what they looked like when they were swimming around our oceans about 400 million years ago. So ammonites, they had a lifespan from about 400 million years to about 65. So in geological time, that's the late Devonian to the kind of end Cretaceous. So for those of you who don't know geological time, don't worry, but you can go onto the geological survey and you can see the latest kind of update of where all the boundaries lie if you'd like to, but I can link that down below if you're interested. But uh, in terms of years, we're talking about 400 million, which is when they came into existence. So quite a long time ago, but they're very interesting creatures because if you look here, you can see that they've got a spiral shell and then they've got kind of all these like tentacles and they were squid-like creatures. So we can relate them to modern organisms that we see in our oceans today. So looking at it here, you can probably see that they're related to modern octopuses or squids or cuttlefish. And then you probably heard that they're also very similar to the Nautilus, which still swims around our ocean today, but also swam with the ammonites. So they survived all through those years where the ammonites didn't, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> One awesome thing about ammonites is they come in all different shapes and sizes. I'm sure if some of you have collected them in the past, you would have seen that they don't all look the same. We've got various sizes, we've got various shapes, we've got various suture lines, various ribs, and all this variation happened within a fairly short time period in terms of geological time. So that's why they are they make amazing biozone fossils. Now if you've never heard the word biozone, don't worry, all it means is that we can use ammonites to date the rocks. So if we're looking at some sedimentary rocks and we find ammonites, we can use what type of ammonite they are to get a rough idea of what age that rock is. So they're really good as indicator fossils um, to tell us a bit more about the surrounding rock. So you don't just get ammonites that look like this. I've also got some models that look a bit like this. So I won't go into too much detail about these ones, but these ones are called heteromorph ammonites. So not all the ammonites followed the simple, you know, spiral shell shape. You can get ones that straightened out and that could have been due to their environment. So they might have been adapting their shell to benefit you know, their mode of life, but it could have also been as a kind of like a deformation if there was a lack of things in the water for them. So there's numerous reasons why they didn't all look the same, but um, I think heteromorph ammonites are so cool. They're a bit rarer to find and less common because they weren't the usual, but uh, still, still pretty cool to learn about. So I thought I would share. So I thought I would now do a bit of a show and tell experience for you guys. So I'm going to flip the camera over so you can see some variations of ammonites that I found since being here in France. And then I also have one here that I did find in England. So you can get an idea of just some of the shapes and sizes of the ammonites. But I mean, my collection here is tiny compared to the variation out there. So I'll flip you guys over and we can take a look. Here are some examples. And as you can see, just from first glance, they can look very different from one another. For instance, these teeny ones down here look very different to these larger ones up here. So they're preserved in different minerals, they're different sizes, they're completely different shapes. I just think it's amazing how varied ammonites can be. And I also put my models down here just in case you couldn't see them when I held them up. I've also got this little guy here. And I think they're a lovely way to show you guys what these fossils once looked like. So obviously you've got the shells here that have preserved, but the soft parts of the organism, which are the tentacles, they don't get preserved because they rot away before the preservation can happen or they're eaten by other organisms. So it's only the hard parts of organisms that tend to get fossilized unless you have exceptional circumstances. So that's why we just find the ammonite shell, but I'll show you guys some close-ups of them all. So this one here has some lovely suture line preservation. You can see it around the whorls. I think it's really interesting to look at the detail of them all because here's some more suture lines, but again, very different. And the different suture lines can indicate different ages, 
So it's a really interesting um, thing to use, like ammonites as a form of, you know, dating rocks, because there's so many variations and they all mean different, you know, environmental adaptations, different age groups. So I think it's really cool. So most of these I found in France, minus this one here. So it's also quite cool to compare country to country and where they overlap, because just because there's an ocean in the middle doesn't mean the rocks don't continue. So. I think it's quite cool that you can find the same ones on the coast in France that you can in England. So yeah. That's day one of your fossil advent calendar. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I'll also link my social media down below if you'd like to see even more fossil related content. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.